Yes, people, what's going on? A lot of you have been asking me how I cut my hair, so I'm just going to show you a tutorial on how I do it. Um, I got these Wale clippers. Wale? No, wall. Wall, <laughs> wall clippers. Um, yeah, you can get them from like Argos or Amazon, anything like that. Usually about 20, 30 quid, so decent price, good investment if you plan on cutting your hair long term. I've been cutting my own hair since I was about 12, so definitely worth investing if you are planning to do it. Um, I've been growing my hair out on the sides a little bit and also at the back. So, yeah, gonna clipper it today with the number one. And the first thing that I wanna do is just create like a separation. So what I do is, let me get a bobble, a little bobble. So, put my hair up in a bobble. And now we can work. So the bobble doesn't have to be perfect, just put it in there just to get the majority of your hair out of your eyes if you have got long hair. Um, if not, you should be okay. But it naturally sort of creates a line in my hair from where I've had it before. So I'm just going to make that line a little bit more defined with a comb and just comb it down. And that's where we're going to be going up to. So I'm just going to take my clippers. I've got a one guard attached to this, so just clips on like that. I'm just gonna hold it here and I'm gonna use my mirror and just go up just to the line. When you're doing it as well, don't push into your head. Just let, let it go upwards. Don't don't move it into your head, otherwise you'll end up like a like a circle head. You just want it to follow the shape of your skull naturally. So just come up. We took the weight off this side, so I'm just gonna go into the other side and just do the same there. So again, air in the bubble, comb it over. Use your comb just to define a line. And just go in with your clippers. And again, don't push into your skull, just let it ride up. If you're struggling with it, go up and flick out when you get to the top left. So that sort of helps to avoid it. So up and then flick out. Now it's time for the back.
you're new to cutting your hair and you haven't cut the back of your hair before, what I would recommend is having a mirror in front of you and then a mirror behind you and slightly offset the mirror so you can see your, your reflection in the back. Um, I've done this so many times so I can just do it just by feeling it. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you are new, it'd be really helpful if you had the two mirrors set up. It makes it a lot easier and you can see what you're doing in the back. It takes a little bit of practice with the coordination just to get like, because obviously the mirror is opposite in your hands, but it takes a little bit of practice. But the more you do it, the more you get used to it. And then eventually you won't need a mirror. So now that we've got the weight off the sides and also off the back, what we're going to do is just doing a little bit of tidying. I'd recommend using one of these, but if you don't have one of these, just take the guard off your clipper and make sure this is pushed all the way to the top to get a close, sh a close shave and you can use this as well to define those edges. But since I do have one of these, I'm going to be using one of these. It's just a beard trimmer, but um, it's really good for, for picking up the detail. So what I'm going to do is just pull my ear back, make sure I don't cut them. I need these. So pull it back and you can see how the hair is overgrowing here. We want to get rid of that. So. And for the finishing touches, if you have a beard, it's good to blend your beard into the side. So I'm just gonna check. It's not actually too bad. I'm just gonna get the one. Just go over this from here. There you go, we're finished. The secret undercut. That's how I maintain my hair. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, leave a like, comment. If you want any help on how to style your hair and how to get your hair curly, then check out my other video. Peace as always.